Hi, my name is Nadana Ratsmanes. I am from Madagascar. I am a graduate student at Dushisha Business School in Kyoto. In the previous video, I talk about one of the main issues my country is facing, the energy shortage, one of the main blockage of development in Madagascar, especially in the rural regions. The supply cannot satisfy the national demand as only 15% of the population has access to electricity. In this video, I am going to talk about the opportunities related to the renewable energy and the possibility to link those opportunities to Japanese companies. Madagascar is a boundless energy island. The country is a strategic hub for investment in renewable energy. The country has adopted a new energy policy, NP, in 2015. It gives the framework and the objectives of deployment of renewable energies with a growth rate of 4.3% in 2017, one of the highest in Africa, the economic situation in Madagascar follows a positive and promising trend. Position in the very heart of Indian Ocean, Madagascar constitutes a strategic hub for exchange between Asia, Africa and the Middle East. Members of the regional commercial area Comesa, SADC, IOC and EPA. Madagascar has strong arguments for economic exchanges with its neighbors. But clearly, what resources can be used in terms of clean energy in Madagascar? The hydroelectric potential has been estimated at about 7.8 gigawatt, and today only 2% of this potential is exploited. Madagascar has more than 2,000 small hydropower seats and has prioritized 40 promising seats for 1 to 20 megawatt. Madagascar also has an exemplary and evenly distributed solar resource. Almost all regions of Madagascar receive more than 2,800 hours of sunshine a year. Average annual production is about 1,600 kilowatt hour. The Madagasi potential is among the highest potentials in the world. Madagascar also has an intense wind potential. The northern part and the southern part show wind speed from 8 meter per second to 20 meter per second with a potential capacity of around 2000 megawatt for electricity generation. The demand for hybridization with other technologies for commercial purposes is high. Now let's talk about the linkage of those opportunities to Japanese companies. Hitachi LTD is a company that is experienced in the wind energy sector. In 2016 Hitachi developed an offshore wind turbine capable of producing 5.2 megawatt of power even in light wind region with annual average wind speed below 7.5 meter per second. Hitachi turbine are currently spreading the use of renewable energy throughout Japan with a high wind speed and a large area of land and sea. Madagascar is undoubtedly an ideal spot for wind turbine generators. There is also a business model developed by Daiwa House Industry CEO LTD that will perfectly fit with the development issues of rural area in Madagascar. The solar sharing business using middle land brings together owners of the unused agricultural land, agricultural businesses, power generation companies and Daiwa house industry. The business consists in expanding the use of renewable energy via solar panels, increasing the production of agricultural products and creating local employment while also aiming for an increase in per unit area area productivity of the land. This also proposes highly productive agricultural products even in the shade of the solar panels. This type of sustainable business model will help and will contribute to solving some of the rural population issues if this is well implemented in those areas. Beyond self-sufficiency, the goal is to transform the country as the first supplier of clean energy in the Indian Ocean to meet the needs of the neighboring countries that are fully committed to the implementation of the SDGs, namely the goal number 7, affordable and clean energy. Now is the moment to invest in the most promising Indian Ocean country. Now is the moment to become the first mover and to acquire a major competitive advantage in the market of the clean energy.